It is a pleasure to welcome all of you to our beautiful amphitheater here at City Hall Plaza as we kick off a weekend-long celebration of our Cape Verdean community uh, with our celebration of Cape Verdean Heritage Weekend. So it's uh, a great pleasure for me to have the opportunity to host all of you here this evening, and we're looking forward to a, a full weekend of events celebrating our Cape Verdean community here in the city of Brockton. To open our ceremonies this evening, uh, I'd like to invite uh, Padre Father Irinu, if he could come up and give us an opening prayer for tonight's ceremonies. Hi, Father. How are you? How are you? Good to see you. Good, Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I would like to thank God for this opportunity to celebrate here this afternoon our freedom. Nothing better than this like life. Obrigado, Senhor, Deus, pela oportunidade que nós nos está ali e nos reconhece tudo bondade de Senhor nesse momento que nós está celebra junto com os Estados Unidos e ali nos Estados Unidos, nossa independência, e continua a abençoar o nosso tudo, para não caminhar na prosperidade, para na paz, na concórdia, com toda humildade, não pode trilhar a senda de desenvolvimento. Eu abenço a esse país amigo que está colhendo, eu abenço a tudo o nosso que está ali, que celebra essa vida. Obrigado, Senhor Deus. E obrigado para todos nós que estão ali. Junto, não está pedindo a nós, senhores que até importa, não Teresa junto, oração de filhos de Deus. All of us, we are children of God, and I would like to invite you to pray with me, our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Que Deus abençoe no nosso tudo e abençoe também no nosso convívio, no nome de Jesus. Amém? Amém. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. And I, I want to be sure to also acknowledge that from the clergy we have a Pastor Late and Bishop Texera are both here with us uh, tonight also. Welcome to you. Uh, I would like to uh, take a moment to recognize uh, many of our elected officials who have joined us here this evening. Um, from the State House of Representatives, uh, State Representative Claire Cronin, who's chair of the House Judiciary Committee. Uh, Senator Mike Brady is tied up in on Beacon Hill at the State House on business, uh, but Al G. Girolamo is here representing him. I know Al is here somewhere. There you are right there, Al. Uh, from our Brockton City Council, uh, Ward 6 Councilor Jack Lally, I believe Jack was here. Is Jack here? He left. He left. What do you think, we we're going to start on time? Yes. <laughs> Americans, huh? Yeah. <laughs> um, well, the, the councilor was here. Still here with us uh, from Ward 7, City Councilor Shirley Asak is here. Thank you, Shirley. City Councilor at Large Moises Rodriguez is here. Councilor, thank you for everything you do. And uh, also Bishop Tony Branch from the Southeastern Regional School Committee is here. At this time, uh, I would like to invite uh, Nicole Andrade up for our U.S. National Anthem. Invite everyone to please rise uh, for our National Anthem. Is Nicole here? Oh, here we go. There she is. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light 
But so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the So at this time, we're going to raise the Cape Verdean flag over City Hall, where it will fly for the entire weekend as we celebrate Cape Verdean Heritage Weekend. But we're going to raise the Cape Verdean flag uh, prior to the performance of the Cape Verdean National Anthem. So I'd like to invite the Consul General to join us. Manny, Moises, Father, please, yeah. So now that we have the Cape Verdean flag flying, we'd like to invite Lucina Late to perform the Cape Verdean National Anthem. Lucina. Que loto. Que mimo de grande por isso. This is the Canta, irmão, canta, meu irmão, que a liberdade é hino e o homem a certeza. Com dignidade em terra semente, no pó da ilha nua, no despenhadeiro da vida a esperança é. Do tamanho do mar que nos abraça, sentinelas e ventos e mares preservarão antes entre as estrelas e o Atlântico. Entoa o cântico da liberdade. Canta, irmão, canta, meu irmão, 
que a liberdade é hino e o homem a certeza. Thank you. Wow, that was unbelievable. So at this time, we've invited uh, several prominent members of the Cape Verdean community here in the city of Brockton to please share a few remarks with us this evening. And so first, uh, we would like to invite up to the podium Manny Andrade, a founding member of the Cabo Verde Association and member of the board. Boa tarde. Ah, Bem-vindo, tudo que é que está ali hoje. No que está muito tempo, para a moda de exano, que no inicia é sexta-feira. Do que é fazer três dias em vez de dois dias. Portanto, exotano, não tem ter mais pessoas que está celebrar com nós ali. Portanto, ah, não está desejando os bem-vindos, que tudo corre direito. E estou esperando as manhãs naquele jantar. Quem é que quer ter uh, bilhete ou convite? Do que tem bilhete na porta, e eles podem ir à vontade uh, lá na Santana, ok? E depois é dia domingo, por isso do, uh, do viral três dias, para esse dia Cabo Verdeano torna um dia mais, mais visível na cidade de Brockton. Porque então lembra, 23 anos passado, uh, meu amigo Moisés, Chumang, ele falou, Manuel, não tem que ir para a City Hall, não tem que ir para começar esse dia Cabo Verdeano para ser reconhecido na cidade de Brockton. E graças a Deus, já tem, já tem 23 anos para celebrar esses dias e não tem certeza, mais uns tempos, possivelmente, não tem que ter uma semana para celebrar esse dia Cabo Verdeano. Que Deus fique com nós, do todo de amanhã, se Deus quiser. Thank you, Manny. At this time, I'd like to invite up uh, from the Cape Verde Association, Cabo Verde Association, and Brockton City Councilor at Lodge, the uh, first and only Cape Verdean American member of our Brockton City Council, Councilor at Lodge, Moises Rodriguez. Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What, did you guys not have any, any lunch or something? Didn't you hear what Lucinha did when she came up here? Maybe she had, she had twice the lunch. That's the difference. But I just want to thank everybody for coming out. And um, as Manuel said, we started this, uh, this thing here in the city 23 years ago uh, because we as Brocktonians of Cape Verdean descent, uh, we felt that it was important for us to uh, have a day dedicated for the good uh, that the Cape Verdean people do in the city on a daily basis. And uh, I'm happy to report that in the United States of America, when you look from, uh, from Hawaii to Florida to New England to Alaska, the city of Brockton is the only city that actually has set aside on a yearly basis a day to recognize Cape Verdeans. So it's something that we should all be proud of. Yeah, you can go ahead and clap. Uh, it goes to show you that from the mayor to the council members to the, uh, the various departments in, in this uh, city hall and city government, uh, this is a city that recognizes that uh, Cape Verdeans are a major contributor to the day-to-day -day life in Brockton. And it's a, with a great deal of pride uh, and continued support that I will continue to do uh, this as, as long as I can. And I count on you, as Manuel said, that you know, we're starting this thing again in, 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 into a three-day event. Uh, hopefully by next year we will get this whole place filled out because believe it or not, 23 years ago when we started CV Day in Brockton, 
we didn't have much more than what we have here. And as you can tell, that event has grown a little bit bigger uh, to a point where it doesn't fit here anymore. So uh, hopefully uh, next year we'll get a, a ton more people out here because officially the most important thing that we do on the CV Day weekend is the recognition from City Hall recognizing the efforts of uh, Cape Verde Mid City. So for those of you who came, thank you very much for being here. For those who will watch us later on on TV or in the, in the other social media, we'll count on you to be here next year. And again, continue to make Brockton your home. Continue to strive to make our city better because I think we can do a lot better than this, uh, but it only, it's only gonna happen with your support and, your, um, and your, your sacrifices. So thank you for calling Brockton home. Thank you, Counselor. People keep putting those mics up on me. Uh, at this time, we'd like to invite uh, to join us the Chair of the Board of the Cabo Verde Association, Joe Miranda. Thank you, uh, Mr. Mayor. On behalf of the Cabo Association, I just want to um, extend my gratitude to everyone that's here today. And also, I want to take this time uh, to introduce to some of the board members that are here today. Um, we have uh, Carla DeRosa. We have Elisa Fons. Manuel Andrade, who spoke a couple minutes ago. And he still looks the same as he looked 23 years ago. We have Tomas Rodriguez. We have Jose Lasso and Sylvester Fords. And we cannot forget Juvino, Juvino Pérez. Uh, also like uh, Moses and um, who else is there? I'm sorry, Tony Branch. I didn't see him back there. Uh, also like um, Moses said and uh, Senor Andrade said, this uh, it started as a single day celebration here at City Hall, and now it's be, it, it became a, a weekend celebration, where today we do the flag raising, tomorrow we have our gala dinner, and on Sunday we have the Cape Verdean Day celebration at the Arnone School. And it's, it's, been, it's a, one activity that's been growing, and which different, different people have g gathered, and became, it's become something that's worth watching on TV, and also worth watching and participating Especially this year, we're going to have a Carnaval. A carnaval is going to start at the Cameron Association, and they're going to walk down Main Street all the way to our known school. And that's Lucinia's part of that, so we want to say thank you. Um, also, I want to say uh, one more time, I just want to thank the mayor's office for putting today, uh, for put, making this day possible. Uh, that's about it. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. And we are looking forward to uh, all the festivities of the entire weekend. We now have the opportunity to introduce uh, to many of you for the first time a very special guest. As uh, on August 1st, he will be taking his post as Consul General of Cabo Verde in the U.S. at the uh, consulate in Quincy. And so I had the opportunity just a little bit earlier to welcome him officially to the city of Brockton for the first time, uh, someone that I know we're going to have a long and close working relationship with. Uh, please help us uh, welcome to Brockton, Consul Erminio Monish. Muito boa tarde a todos. Queria cumprimentar de forma muito efusiva a todo, tudo alguém que está ali presente para falar em meu primeiro ato ali na, enquanto cônsul 
E para mim é um ato simples, mas uma cerimónia carregado de muito significado. Queria agradecer particularmente ao Mayor Bill Carpenter, vereadores ali presentes e o Sr. Presidente da Associação de Cabo Verdeanos de Brockton, Sr. Moisés Rodrigues. Madame Flaba é uma cerimónia simples, mas é carregado de significado porque é testemunha reconhecimento de Brockton a toda geração de Cabo Verdeanos que diariamente, com o seu esforço, com o seu dedicação e com o seu empenho, também essa te contribui para um desenvolvimento cada vez maior de Brockton. Tudo nosso, Cabo Verdeano, li e mesmo na Cabo Verde, de alguma forma, não tem uma relação, não tem uma relação próxima com Boston com Bro e com Brockton. Nós tudo não tem alguma ligação. Famílias, amigos, parentes, tudo o nosso Cabo Verdeano não está, de uma forma ou de outra, ali representado para nós, Guinness. E Modem falava com o Mayor Bill Carpenter, nós nos ali enquanto consulado, também para desenvolver melhor tipo de cooperação e melhor tipo de relação com as autoridades a todo nível. Nós estamos ali para nos dar nós máximo para que realmente a vida de pessoas, de nossas comunidades e de toda a comunidade seja cada vez de mais felicidade e de mais prosperidade. Nos está bastante orgulhoso com esse, com esse dia licenciado dedicado a Cabo Verde e que te testemunha reconhecimento para todo, todo esse Cabo Verdianos que está ali a trabalhar e nós de nossa parte nos está bastante orado. De parte da comunidade, de parte do consulado, nos está a fazer tudo o que estiver no nosso alcance para que nos continue a ter essa confiança e para que de facto nos continue a desenvolver essa relação entre entre a nossa comunidade, entre o nosso país e essa cidade. Ok? Muito obrigado. Era aqui as pequenas palavras que eu queria falar. Eu te agradeço tudo o nosso e amanhã ainda não está presente para uma outra atividade. Ok? Muito obrigado a todos. Ok. Eu faço myself muito bem. Muito bem. Muito bem. Muito bem. Muito bem. Muito bem. And the Consul General uh, will be with us at the gala tomorrow evening. So for those of you who would like an opportunity to meet him and speak with him, uh, he will be with us at the gala tomorrow evening. I also want to mention uh, earlier I said Senator Mike Brady was not here. But just to make me incorrect, Senator Brady has arrived. So Senator Mike Brady has also joined us. At this time, uh, officially as mayor, I would like to issue a proclamation on behalf of the city of Brockton. Perhaps, uh, Joe, would you like to come up to accept it? And perhaps the Consul General would like to join us on behalf of the community. So this is an official proclamation uh, from the city of Brockton. Whereas the growth and prosperity of Brockton, Massachusetts is due in part to an ethnic diversity that includes the Cape Verdean population. And whereas through spirit and ingenuity, the Cape Verdean people have developed a strong community network in such states as California, New Jersey, New York, Rhode Island, and here in Massachusetts. And whereas the Cape Verdean people are dedicated and committed to improving their lives and enhancing the quality of life for others. Many Cape Verdeans in our city have become doctors, nurses, lawyers, business leaders, and teachers, all working together to build a better community. And whereas the city of Brockton has been greatly enriched by the customs and traditions of the Cape Verdean culture brought to us by Cape Verdean immigrants who have made their way to our community and placed an indelible mark on our city. And whereas it is appropriate to promote awareness and understanding of cultural diversity in our society in order to strengthen the relationships between our multicultural communities. Now therefore I, Bill Carpenter, as mayor of the city of Brockton, do hereby proclaim 
Cabo Verde Heritage Weekend. And I urge... I urge all residents of the city of Brockton to recognize this momentous occasion and all the wonderful contributions the Cape Verdean people have made to our city. And this is signed and sealed uh, today, July 28th, by me. And I would like to present it uh, to Joe Miranda and to the Consul General representing our community. So that will just about conclude the official part of the program, uh, but it would not be a Cape Verdean celebration if we didn't have music. So uh, we have a fantastic group here to perform for you this evening. Garrison, I hope you'll stay, enjoy the music, enjoy the fellowship, and we look forward to seeing everyone at the gala at Santana tomorrow evening. Thank you. Come on. 